Nyala Road, where my colleague Abdi Aziz Hashim is uh, keeping there. Remember the military, we also have the military at uh, Nyayo Stadium. The head of state said that uh, be uh, on the streets on Tuesday and uh, Abdi has been keeping tabs to see yeah. Abdi, if you can hear me, good morning and uh, kindly bring us up to speed with what is happening. We are here at the Bunyala roundabout, uh, Troy, and what closer to the Nyayo Stadium. Remember last week, this was the base of operation for the Kenya Defense Forces once they were deployed about the cabinet secretary that is Aden Duale Gazetment. They are currently here at the Nyayo Stadium. Other directions and orders if they are required within the central business district and its environs. You do know that Nyayo Stadium to not just the KDF but to the operations that are ongoing here. It is closer. You can enter through can go backwards all the way in Baka Lagnata Highway and also you can reach in many other areas here in the to confirm to you that the military are further waiting orders to see if the state that is the same thing they did last time which is to snake through the capital and its environs just to ascertain the security what happened is that they visited major roads and given that the protests today, if the protesters will come out eventually, um, sit down in various um, major highways that are, uh, that, are, that, are, that are coming into the But that is a matter of wait and see given that we have come through the capital itself. Um, we, have not, we have not seen so much that we have seen some people in the central business district, but outside the central business district, especially this side of Nyayo little to report given that if the cameraman can show you the Bunyala roundabout is a very critical these are areas connected all the way from South C, South B, Mombasa Road um, also people all the way down. this is a very critical nerve um, entering the capital now this is the same road that to come out they will use this particular route to enter the central business district as you can see right now the you'd have seen uh, a lot of, a lot of traffic it is at 10 30 exactly uh, but right now into this also the, in the central business district but um, the national police service that is IG Kome has a residence of their safety as business operators within the capital also you do remember a discussion with the members of the fourth estate uh, Sunday evening. He clearly stated that they will not allow uh, capital, given that the last time that happened, uh, people lost at least uh, 2.4 billion in losses and damages caused. You saw what happened in Parliament at a city court. But right now, we're just waiting to see if the military will come out of the to offer support uh, to the national police. They told you they were aiming to. Um, in various major highways that are entering. Uh, we also have Waiyaki Way and Langata, and this is Bunyala Road. That is the main nerve. All the people are coming all the way from Mombasa town in Uhuru Highway. This is the Uhuru Highway that will be leading to the central business district. KDF will come out. There are codes and regulations that are already in place, given that the constitution uh, empowers Parliament through Article 243 of the Constitution to deploy military whenever they are needed into the capital. Remember, there are only two scenarios where the military will come out: is to ascertain security and to offer support to the national. Many other areas within the capital that are facing insecurity. But right now, this is the first reason where they are going to to ensure there is a security within the capital but also the KDF through their various how to conduct themselves during this particular operations that is what they will guide them through this particular they have here in the capital and assured by the president on Sunday evening is that the KDF will only come out police service but to, I need to hand you over given that we have uh, to continue with our spot check across the capital to you, Troy.